I feel like throughout this process, like a lot shapes you, right? Taking risks changes who you are. It's not that you are, you know, so brave and you're standing up in front of these people and saying, I'm gonna start a business and it's easy and it feels good. It's that you're terrified and there's butterflies in your stomach and you still stand up and say, I want something big for myself. I'm big enough for this. Wow, where do we even start? <laughs> This is my husband, Joey. He's my partner in crime. Coming at you after a few hours of thrifting. Coming at you. We're coming at you late on a Friday night. We're ready to make some cards. Wicker Goddess sells vintage furniture, home goods, hand-drawn greeting cards, and prints. I mean, like, you can't limit yourself. I couldn't imagine two years ago now that I'd be here, but um, I'm really grateful. Um, out and about finding you guys some good stuff. This past year has been the most earth-shaking year we've experienced. I just wanted to have like a bohemian vibe wedding and Wicker just fell into that. Sarah was very attracted to all this Wicker, <laughs> <laughs> everything, wherever we could find it. I vividly remember this one day that it really started. We were like selling things from the wedding, but it wasn't a business idea or anything. And we realized it's how you stage a photo. It's how you show someone what it would look like in their home. And then it just like sparked this idea in us. Like we have all of this stuff. We might as well try to sell it. We like shifted the perspective and decided like we're buying to sell, not we're just buying to enjoy. When GoDaddy and Jillian started reaching out to us, like it made us see like this is a real thing. She told me about this entrepreneur conference in San Francisco. I didn't really know that something like this existed. I knew about GoDaddy and I knew their reputation with businesses, but I didn't know the amount of commitment that they had to the entrepreneur. We were just around such good company, entrepreneurs who were working towards something bigger and greater. If we weren't inspired before, we were like at 500% by the end of the day. It just really like amplified um, how important what I do is. It was amazing. It was the best day of my life. <laughs>
I'm learning all of the behind the scenes of a website, which I have no experience in computer development, website, like any of that stuff. Thankfully, the GoDaddy website is very self-explanatory. I think I'm just feeling like excited and anxious to show people what we've been working on. I style my home this way. I write cards for people I love this way. This is me just being myself. So it's scary because I want people to love me. I want people to love um, who I am for them and for this business. And so that's where the fear stems from. Last week was really long for me. And this week I'm trying to make the rest just as important as the hustle. So I'm taking care of myself. I'm taking slow mornings. I'm making space for my family and my friends. And it's just all reminding me how much work goes into something. It's working for us on Instagram. We're selling a lot of goods, but in order to access and reach people in different places, a website is where we land and it maximizes you know, our search optimization, which we need that. We want to grow and be bigger and greater and, and more connected. We are on our way to the Gilbert GoDaddy offices. I'll show you guys some behind the scenes. These offices are amazing. And then something exciting is coming, so stay tuned. Hey! Hey! Welcome, welcome. You bought Joey too? I know. Yeah. We're so lucky. Good, good to, to see you. you. Come on in. Thank you. Make sure everything looks good. Before we get it launched, let's get this right. Yeah, it looks amazing. Okay. Your domain is already connected. I'm scared. It's up to you. <laughs> I feel like we've built up so much anticipation for this as if like something crazy is going to happen. Something crazy is going to happen. Okay, I'm doing happen. it. I'm doing it. She's doing it. <laughs> Your site is live, as it says, so we're gonna view the site. How do you feel now I that feel it's live? I feel relieved. <laughs> now that it's live. Then and nervous. I hope you will go to it. Now you just gotta start fulfilling these orders. That's right. Oh, Jillian's calling. Hi! Hi! Happy launch day! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you for calling. Nice. I'm going to pick up my print order. I had to do like a last minute order because we have a market this weekend just to like support business and make sure we have enough. It looks great. They're nice, they organize them and then they cut them in half for me, which is like super helpful. I'm gonna prioritize. So um, holiday cards I'm gonna do first because I need them tomorrow, whereas the wholesale order I'm, I'm delivering next week. I've gotten pretty fast. It used to take me a long time. Good morning, you guys. I'm coming at you with a lot of feelings, a lot of things going on for me today. We had a market. Um, I worked on a lot of stuff all weekend, so I didn't really feel like I got um, a break, which is okay. Um, the market was slower than our past markets at this location, so I was definitely a little bit bummed. Um, I know that we are our hardest critics always, and I try to be really gentle with myself at the end of the day and check in and say, um, you know, I did the best that I could and I'm still growing and learning and things don't happen overnight. It's funny, you can sell a million things and then one day comes and you don't sell one thing and you forget about the million and you focus on the one. I feel like what really like gets to me in my anxiety is the fear that people won't like what I'm putting out there. And usually things sell really quickly, but if it doesn't sell right away or I don't get a response right away, I just like get in my head. With pickups and with like making cards and folding them and packaging them and then like mailing them out. And it is growing really fast, like faster than I thought it would. And we got into our first boutique last week. Did I tell you that? I saw it on your Instagram. Yeah, the local nomads. So they placed a wholesale order with us and we filled it already. So I have one here. And here, the desert vibes. I didn't really know that wholesale orders were gonna be like in my queue of things to offer. So really it was like understanding that my business is really multi-dimensional. It can scale because of this, because this space, you know, gave me the confidence to think why not go in another space in another space. Someone bought a card in here. She got um, she bought this card, there's magic in you. And she's like, my daughter just got pregnant and she has a little baby inside of her and they've been trying to get pregnant for so long and I felt like this card was perfect. And I was like, there were almost tears in my eyes that like, this is why I make this stuff. Like I'm excited and grateful and also like, when do people get to the point where they like hire someone because I'm like already like just working so much. 
Hi, good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm doing a little bit of thrifting today, so maybe I'll bring you guys along for the ride. There's definitely difficult days, but I'm just here for it. And I support this goal. I see the vision of it. When we said yes to marrying each other and said I do in front of everyone, it was also saying I do to each other's dreams. And that meant at any expense, we would show up for each other and make it easier when it was hard on the other person. And I need that. Like when you're in a work environment, a corporate environment, hopefully you have a boss or a colleague that's also doing that. It's okay for me to, you know, take my hat off for the day and say, I need someone else to be the business owner with me today. I'm a one woman show running like 45 shows. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm not alone. Hi. Good, how are you? So good. This is my friend Ashley. Yeah, she bought a wicker piece for me and then we became friends. Oh my God. It's like the match made in heaven. <laughs> Let's see the shelf. Yeah. That's good shape. I love it. Thank you for picking it up for me. Of course. I'm glad it was there. It's meant to be. It's honestly so inspiring to see like how much your journey has grown, <laughs> but I think it speaks volumes to who you are as a person and just how people can connect with you yeah. individually. When I launched the website, I was so terrified. Like, no one's gonna buy anything. Like, I, I put all this work into it and all this pressure into myself of like presenting this to the public. And it was like the night the website had launched and I hadn't gotten any orders. And I had like posted it on Instagram, posted it everywhere, and I was freaking out to Joey. And I was like, this is the end. Like, we have to quit. Close Wicker Goddess, like shut the doors. And he was like, you need to take a deep breath. And then my phone dinged and you placed an order. <laughs> and I was like screaming, running around the house, like we made it. It's phenomenal when you ask for your community to show up for you, they do. And I know like if I do need help, I literally just shoot a message and Brandon's like, hey, how's it going? What do you need? And here's all this stuff just in case you need it. And the GoDaddy team is like my hype crew. They like see me do something new and they're, they're like, this is amazing. We didn't even know you made stickers or like whatever that is. Um, but a lot of times it's Jillian shooting me an email and she just like shows up for me in a way that I don't think anyone like really ever has who doesn't like isn't in my close circle of like family and relationships and friends. And um, it like literally brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> Oh, I need to pull it together. What we're learning is that our website has like all of these opportunities to reach people. And one of those is email marketing. We are loading for the market. I wanted to send out the market that we're having tomorrow. You can send it all at once to all the subscribers. We stack the car. It's full and ready. I feel like this is the busiest most people have come to this market because they need holiday gifts, which is really awesome. It's like a built-in need to be shopping. It feels good to kind of see what people think of everything. I feel like I'm learning every day what it looks like to run a business, when to turn it off and, and call it quits for the day, and how often and available I need to be to my customers so that both they're happy, but you know my mental health is coming first also. We're coming up on a year of Wicker Goddess. We invited all of you guys because you've been super supportive and present with us over the last year. And we just wanted to share some love with you and love on you guys. We are so grateful that you're in our lives. Let's just keep it rolling. So. <laughs> I'm amazed at how fast she posts something and then 30 minutes later posts sold. I don't know another person really doing what she's doing. I'm excited to see the creative spark ignite even more than it already has. I'm guessing what she's doing today is gonna to be just a small fraction of what she's doing a year from now. So you guys, these glasses are the start of Wicker Goddess. We thrifted these for our wedding, so we thought what better day to drink some champagne out of them than our one year anniversary of Wicker Goddess, not our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Success and abundance and happiness and health. Cheers. 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 I always knew that I was meant to be an entrepreneur. And I think it was just me stepping boldly into it without hesitation. Work now for Sarah a lot of the time is like creating and making art. And that is so cool in my eyes. When you're building a business and you're not quite sure everything it's gonna hold, um, you're also kind of building yourself up and you're not quite sure everything you're gonna hold, right? And as you peel through layers and move into the future of what your business looks like, you're figuring out also what you look like in that space. Nothing is impossible. This year we're expanding into new things. We're coming up with new ideas to keep it fresh and exciting and keeping that same feeling of gratitude through the years. I feel like I finally landed and not that Wicker Goddess is huge and amazing and we've arrived where we wanna be, but that I've landed in the way that I want my everyday life to feel.